everyone, my name is Dana. I'm the Buena Vista Branch Manager with Monterey County Free Libraries, and welcome to Little Chef. Before we jump into making today's recipe, I wanted to highlight some of my favorite food-themed books. Now, all of these books are available through our library system. You can access our online catalog at emcfl.org and place holds on any of the items that I show you guys today. The first one is an old classic. It's called Slop Goes the Soup. Very cute. If you would like to learn your ABCs through food, we have Apple Pie ABC. It's a great one. We have the classic If You Give a Cat a Cupcake. You probably know If You Give a Mouse a Cookie. We have, this one is a great one. This is green is a chili pepper. And then I just discovered this book in our library collection recently. It's a brand new children's cookbook and it's called My Very First Cookbook. And it's perfect to use for your very own cooking at home with your little one. So this is another book that I highly recommend if you are cooking with little ones, preschool age, all the way up through elementary. Easy recipes, easy to follow along with, and super yummy. So today we are going to be doing a twist on an old favorite. We're going to take your classic peanut butter and jelly and give it a little bit of a spin. So stay tuned and I'm going to walk you through your ingredients and how to get started. So for today's recipe, we are going to reinvent the classic peanut butter and jelly. So to do that, we are going to be making PB and jelly sushi rolls or pinwheels or roll-ups. They're often called one of those variations and we're gonna make that together today. I'm also going to walk you through another simple roll-up little snack that's just peanut butter, bananas, and a good old just easy tortilla or whatever type of wrap you might have on hand. So what we're going to need to get started first for our little PB and jelly sushi roll or pinwheel, you're going to need a slice of bread, any type of bread you have on hand, wheat bread, sourdough, whatever your child likes, some jelly, peanut butter, if you have a nut allergy, you can use, you know, sunflower butter, sun butter, anything that you have on hand um, that's allergy friendly for you and your little one, a banana for later, and a tortilla. It could be whole wheat, you could use flour tortillas, again, whatever your child's preference is. So that's it, very simple. Let me show you the tools we're going to need. I'm gonna use a butter knife for me. And for little ones, normally Oliver, my four-year-old son, would be joining me today. But for him, we have little plastic knives that he likes to use. And then I'm even borrowing one of his little rolling pins. So I'm gonna show you how to put the rolling pin um, to use in just a moment. But that is it. Minimal ingredients and minimal little utensils. So now let's get in to assembling our PB&J sushi roll. Okay, we have our ingredients out in front of us and we have our utensils. Now the first thing to remember before we start cooking is we wanna wash those hands. We wanna make sure we're cooking with nice, clean hands. So go ahead and wash those little hands, give them a good scrub, dry them off, and now you are ready to jump in and help cook. And again, Little Chef is a really great way to get your little one into the kitchen. If they're a hesitant eater or a picky eater like my son, I found bringing him into the kitchen, having him help me cook, really helped open him up to different foods because he helped make them. So it's a win-win all around. So for our PB&J sushi roll, your child is gonna help you with this step. So go ahead and give them one of the little plastic knives if you have one. And what we're going to do, we're gonna practice those cutting skills. We are going to cut the crusts off our piece of bread. I'm just using 
one piece of bread. And so we're just going to trim and they can do this step, trim off all the little pieces. So you get, for this one, it's gonna be a rectangle shape. So you're just gonna trim all the edges. It doesn't have to be perfect, but again, great way to teach those cutting skills. So cut, 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 trim your piece of bread. You know, my son hates the crusts of the bread anyway, so this is perfect. Okay, so we're gonna take those crusts, sit them aside, and we're gonna put our knife down, and you're going to be left with a piece of bread similar to this. Now, we need to flatten it. So I'm gonna be using my little mini rolling pin. If you don't have one of these handy, that is okay. Use a can, anything a little bit heavy that you think can help flatten the bread. So normally I would have my four-year-old do this part because he would love this part. So you pretend you're rolling out some cookie dough. You're gonna roll it nice and flat, as flat as you can. And you might find that some bread works better than others. Use what you have on hand or what your child really likes. You're just gonna flatten it out, just like that. Flat, 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 flat. Okay, that's pretty good. And kids always love the rolling part. And then I'm just gonna go back and kind of press down, make sure it's nice and flat. And we should be good. Next, you're gonna take your topping. So you can take however you like to do it first, peanut butter first, jelly first, preference. So I'm going to take some peanut butter and this is where little one could step in and help. So for this, depending on the size of your piece of bread, you're going to want to take one to two teaspoons of peanut butter or sun butter, and we're just going to spread it all over the top of our piece of bread. Doesn't need to be very thick. Depends on how much peanut butter you like. Add a little bit more. Cover all the corners. If your bread's starting to tear like mine, that's okay. I'm actually gonna start rolling that end first. Okay, we have our peanut butter all spread out. So I'm gonna close that. Now, you might wanna grab a new knife. We're gonna put a little bit of jelly on top. Spread that on top, depending on how much you like. Let the little one, give them kind of free reign here to help spread it on. Cover that roll. Okay. So my piece now looks like this. It's covered. So what we're going to want to do now is the fun part. We are going to roll it into a tight spiral. So my end is a little bit broken, so I'm gonna fold over and while you're rolling, tight, 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 tight. Again, I think this depends type of bread that you have. Okay, so you're gonna wind up with a roll that looks like this or something similar to. And then once you have it in your nice tight little roll, you're gonna cut it. And my son likes to cut the roll himself. So you can just cut and have little pieces for them to eat. And I don't know what it is about making food into just different shapes, but my son prefers to eat them. If I make a PB and jelly and I use a cookie cutter and make it a house shape or a heart, and he really loves these PB and jelly little sushi rolls. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It's all about the process and having fun cooking together. So that is just one little recipe. Next, I'm just gonna walk you through how to do a variation of a wrap. So I'm gonna clean this up and I'll be right back. We just made PB and jelly little sushi rolls or spirals or pinwheels, however we wanna call them. And quickly, I wanna show you a variation. So if you have a banana on hand, you can let little one help you with 
this part. We're just going to have them help us cut a banana with their plastic knife into little bite-sized pieces. You don't need a lot, just a few. We'll start there. And with your tortilla, you're gonna take that jar of peanut butter one more time. Give it a stir if you need to. And we're just going to start to cover our tortilla. If you have Nutella on hand or you know your child likes Nutella, you can use that. It's that chocolate hazelnut spread. Okay, so there we go. So I just covered my tortilla and you can add in your bananas. They can arrange it however they want. It's kind of up to them. Super simple. And now what we're gonna do is we can, you can roll it whichever way you want. So you're just gonna roll like we did with the bread, a tight, 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 tight spiral. You're just gonna keep rolling, keep rolling until you have what looks like a little bit of a burrito. And again, you're gonna take your knife, it could be the same one, and you're just going to cut it into little sections. And you can use toothpicks with this. You're just gonna cut so that it keeps its shape a little bit better. You can do little segments like this. If it pops out, that's okay. You can pin it with a little toothpick and you're just gonna continue to cut your roll. So that's it. We have made two different variations of a peanut butter sushi roll or wrap um, that my four-year-old really, really enjoys. Super easy, but they have a great time getting to practice those cutting skills, eat some of the ingredients while they help, and really feel like they are a part of the cooking process and having fun in the kitchen. So thank you so much, everybody, for joining me for Little Chef. I look forward to seeing you next time. And if you're interested in some of the books I talked about earlier, like this one, you can go online to our catalog, emcfl.org. You can call our phone team, 831-883-7555. And library staff would be happy to place holds on any of these items for you. Thanks so much, everyone. Happy cooking. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye.